We all know the most important part of changing, maintaining your body composition is nutrition. Then of course comes training, but you already have these things down and you want to improve further. Where to go from here? I mean, I just want to make it absolutely clear. I'm here for careers guidance, not therapy. Nutrition, hard work, and what magic supplements do we need to buy? Let me keep the suspense going a little longer because you will find it hilarious. And so I came to this topic just by stumbling upon a YouTube video pumped through their algorithm. Arm wrestling a female bodybuilder for $1,000. Think how many pointless supplements that she sells that you could buy with that. Sorry, reveal too soon. The dude in the back who after finishing his flies checks the biceps, classic. And so I've decided not to even name this person because it doesn't really matter because this issue is indicative of a problem we have throughout the fitness industry and it can apply to so many fitness celebrities. Here we have an IFBB pro figure competitor. She is elite at what she does. She is a sportswoman. My video has nothing to do with that aspect. As I said, this is a common hustle in the fitness industry. And here's another example of it because my video has everything to do with her information, information, and the marketing and selling of products. Which I detest. And this could apply to so many fitness celebrities, not just her, like this guy, who will post about the hard work and the grind. I have been able to achieve the body I have today thanks to years of consistent dieting and training and multivitamins. Vacuum in the morning. and sell you his BCAA glutamine from ironically named company Need. Run Everything Labs by Dana Limbailey is still the best ironically named supplement company. However, Need is pretty close. 12 to one ratio, that is so stupid. That is next level foolishness. I love it. Do you think we is simple, Sergi? And I'm tired of seeing these generic work hard, no mention of PEDs and buy my rubbish supplements posts. This one from two days ago on the gram, 6,678 people are wrong. But seeing as she's chosen to be sponsored by Enhanced Athlete, I'm not surprised because this is their leader. And to be clear, he's a joke. And in this latest clip, they talk about what type of women they're attracted to. It was suitably nauseating as this screenshot portrays. And since that video is only about 10 seconds long, that was quite the effort. And go and watch this clip to see why. Warning, you may need some sleep juice afterwards though. Fall asleep faster and then wake up and take a fat burner. That sounds sensible. So Brandon Walsh is a YouTuber, clearly successful. I don't know his stuff at all. He may be brilliant. He may not be, I don't know. But he made a series of videos with this IFBB pro. Can a guy survive a female bodybuilder's brutal workout? And so Brandon and does the intro, these are my stats, these are her stats, this is what she lifts. If he fails at any exercise for the weight that she can use, then he has to pay her $100 because it has to have that entertaining aspect to it. I get it, fine. And then they go through different exercises and you can see how much they can lift and you get the idea. There's some leg press there, there's some other exercises and they compete but in a friendly way. And at the end, he gives her $300 because it has to appeal to a large YouTube audience. So making it a competition is what we commonly see in these mainstream videos, fine. And then he brings in his sister to train with her in another video, forcing introvert to work out at bodybuilding gym. Considering like she looks like she doesn't have any muscles, <laughs> wait until she wakes up tomorrow. And so his sister, who by her own account is untrained and she only started training a week ago and says she struggles with the treadmill, works out with the bodybuilder. She's apparently introverted even though she's voluntarily doing this workout on camera and seems to be extremely extroverted and comfortable. However, and so she uses lighter weights, of course, and they perform some barbell work and all that. They present it in a very watchable way. And these videos will do well on YouTube. There are plenty of chuckles here, entertaining moments, classic. Okay, fine, good luck to you. And then to the last of the trilogy, arm wrestling a female bodybuilder for $1,000. Meet me in an official arm wrestling match. I will give you $1,000. I like the sound of that. But before they do that, a quick driving test. And then a quick warm up of punching a dude in the stomach followed by the arm wrestling. And it's a pretty close contest. A bit of back and forth here as you can see some intense moments, but ultimately Melissa comes through with the W. And so I watch those videos and they're mainstream popular YouTube videos, fine. I get it, the YouTube gym collab videos, take people through her workout, funky music playing, the arm wrestling competition, the pulling cars. Okay, fine, it is what it is. Do that, not this. Because I then made the mistake of going to her social media profile and it's what she's chosen to do with her growing status that is so predictably frustrating. Now, firstly, I'm sure she doesn't claim Natty. She's an IFBB pro. She is literally sponsored by Enhanced Athlete. It is understood and I think she just doesn't address the issue. Okay, fine. And so that in isolation is not the problem. But when you make these posts selling stuff in this way, it has to enter the equation. 
and it doesn't. We all know the most important part of changing, maintaining your body composition is nutrition. Then of course comes training. Okay, fair enough. But you already have these things down and you want to improve further. Where to go from here? Five or six compound cycles. Now we turn to supplementation to achieve that next level version of ourselves. Obviously, that was my next guess. To help you all do just that, I'm giving away a couple of Enhanced Labs most essential supplements. Well, that's convenient. And okay, so you ignore the fact that PEDs are absolutely vital to the projection you're giving. But what are the supplements that people need to reach the next level version of ourselves? Exact quote. arachidonic acid. Oh, the stupidity. I have a video on this and I explain how this company do not correctly project the evidence base into this supplement. And so I went to Amazon with that in mind. And of course, there it is, the Tampa research that they quote as to why this is effective, not the multiple other studies which do not support this supplement for muscle growth. And how essentially this product is nonsensical for muscle growth purposes. But Melissa states that arachidonic acid can break strength plateaus, increase recovery, increase muscle mass, take 30 minutes prior to training, or don't. And so here we go. Really, at what point of her journey over many years of training and the other things that she does, did arachidonic acid become a vital part of it? In my opinion, not at all, never. But who cares when you sell it to people? And so it's not just the ignoring of the, how important the PEDs are in, in this process, but it's also the fact that you see in the fitness industry, people will sell you supplements that in no way did they take as part of their journey. In no way did they use these as part of their journey over many years. But hold on a second, because results come to those who shut up and do the work action is loud people buy my stuff and here's a supplement stack five that she's promoting that leads to fire emojis one two three four five i can still count good i did it on one hand they have no problem selling you rubbish supplements essential <laughs> i don't know what to believe anymore and then we get to an over-the-counter fat burner which of course is a fat loss product that she's taken clearly what's your favorite model of terminator is it t3 t4 one of those. ECA Shred, Extreme Energy, Quick Fat Loss, Thermo Complex, No Adrenal Crash. Take pre-cardio or first thing AM. Or don't, and just do cardio in the morning if that is your preference without shoving pills down your gob. Okay, let's read some comments. And so plenty of love heart emojis here. You have heart, fire, 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 heart. My comment would be, this is the oldest trick in the book. Fire emoji. This stuff just needs to go away. This type of marketing and projection, and people in this community can see what's going on. Very sadly, other people don't quite understand it. And there will be many people who will buy into this and think that those are the supplements that she's taken to achieve her, her results. And they're gonna go and buy five supplements they don't need. But are you really getting a workout in if you're not using Big James EAAs in your intro? Yes, because you don't need EAAs intra workout. Physiology is not that sensitive. I've made videos about this and how your cumulative protein intake over a day is more important than timing. Even when the product is a good one and an EAA is a good product, the marketing still has to be bunk to sell it. And it works, clearly. Do the YouTube videos. Do these collabs. You've been hugely successful in collaborating with a, a million subbed channel. Keep doing that. Grow your status that way. Grow your profile that way. Make money that way. Do that, not this.